Got all the bricks unloaded. Here's the, uh, the base sand I'm gonna use. Here I've got some 5 8 minus. This is for my for my base. So I'm gonna dig down about uh, eight to 12 inches and fill it up with about six inches of this stuff. Next thing to do, start pounding the stakes so I can get the measurements on the depth and the width. Okay, I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna start right here and work my way this way. That's gonna be a rounded corner there. I'm gonna go all the way up there. I got a nice level line going across here so now I can just start digging it out right along there. Now I'm gonna take some spray paint and spray a line on the ground for a dig line. This kind of illustrates what I'm after. I gotta dig it all out and fill it in, but this is what I'm after. I want this to be right in line with the foundation there. So I'm gonna stay right in front of that line. I'm gonna leave the yellow line and dig it, dig it out there all the way. Okay, now this line is just for digging. This isn't for level necessarily. I got one going from here because this is right in line with this. But the slope goes up that way so at some point it's just going to go right into the hill and stop but i need to know where to dig there's my line there well here's progress so far after a couple hours of digging about right there this pick is coming in handy because i'm getting down to hitting some clay so it's causing me some grief but i'm getting it there i'm almost there over here just working my way around all right here's progress so far Digging this baby by hand. Almost ready to put down that base. All right, for getting started on this thing, I'm actually gonna start right here at the porch. I want it to come two inches above. I'm just gonna work this first section right here. So I got my first marker and that's where this thing's gonna step down on the top. So just from here to here is what I'm gonna focus on right now. We'll work on this this other area here later. We'll go ahead and get the gravel, the base in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put enough in there to where it brings it up so I can have about an inch of sand and then two inches above the porch right there. That's where I want it. You can do this by shovel if you're close to your trench. We'll just put it in with the uh, with buckets. Put it all the way along here and I'll pack it down. I got my base in there. I'm gonna tamp it all down with this. Alright, I've got it all packed down now. All the way down to that point there. It's the same distance from the top of the pack all the way up to my my level line there. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put an inch of sand on top of that. Cut this little chunk of board out and I'm just taking it and going this way across the sand with it. As you can see, just to kind of, my line's right here, so I want it to be all flat across. Okay, I'm ready to start laying some bricks. Got the sand down to that point right there. I am so excited to be at this point. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my level on there this way, level on there that way. Make sure it's level, making sure it's lined up right with my line, right with the end of the porch. Go ahead and put that on there that way. Make sure it's level, and I'll put the next one down. Okay, now what I'm doing is making sure this is level this way and level that way. And then if it's not, I give it a little love with the with the mallet there, knock it into place, wiggle it around, whatever I have to do to make sure that is exactly level, not a bit off. All right, time for the next one to do the same thing. Before I get too far, I was thinking about this. I want there to be a full brick right here on the second row. So I'm going to cut this brick right in half. Start with a half down here and then a hole. That way a whole brick will go on top of that and hug the side there. That way it's, it's more visually appealing. Okay, so I'm going to try to snap this one in half. So I just took my square here and scored it. I got my helper right here. 
I'm gonna score it all the way around and then just cut it with the, the chisel. Just kind of tap it along there and try to try to split it. And so I'll do it down this way and then down the back too. All right, I scored both sides. Got it to break where I wanted it to. Okay, now is where I have to drop down. You see, we're almost, almost darn near flush with ground level. So right here at the end, I'll put one more on top there right here is where I need to drop to drop down and then start my next start my next run okay same thing with this section I'm gonna fill it up with the with the base and then enough to do about an inch of sand on top of that pack it all down okay so now I'm kind of coming up high to the ground here so what I'm gonna do I've already got this last piece level here so out in half right underneath it I'm gonna go four inches below and then tuck another one under there and start that next run that's underneath this so I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this one up and then just go four inches I'm gonna take half of that wipe that out go four inches below and tuck one under there put that one back on top and continue my continue my run out this way okay there's the transition the first transition right there I'm gonna continue this one all the way down and that'll now be the new top. And then for finishers, we're putting these, these on there. These are about a buck 88 a piece at Lowe's. So we're just putting those along the top there. Just give it a nice finished look and then maybe somewhere to sit glue all this together too. There's progress so far. Working on this run here, then I'll drop down right there. to the end now I'm just working my way around this corner here right here and then we'll be done so this is the bottom this bottom I'm just gonna take this row and run it all the way along here I've already kind of set the bricks in there to check it out to make sure it's gonna fit right and then uh, so I'm bringing my line here is uh, 20 21 inches to the ground it should be 20 so I'm gonna add an inch of sand and put the bricks on that to be 20 because the bottom of that one to that line is 20. So I'm, I want to bring it evenly all the way around now. Let's finish packing this all down nice and tight. fix that reroute that fix that because i'm going to come up one more layer i had to cut this last one just down below that too with the chisel just to barely make it fit Okay, now what I need to do is figure out what kind of cuts I need to make for this corner. So in order to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and start laying the, the caps right now. I'm going to pull these off here in a minute for when we glue them down, but I want to get them, get them set out for this corner. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start cutting the corners now. So if you look at the top view here, you can see that when I'm taking my measurement, it's going to be right here where this transition starts. So that's going to be point one there and it's going to angle this way. So what I'm going to do is just put this here for a placeholder. 
This is just to hold the other piece level. So I'm gonna grab another brick and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Now what I've done with this one, the one that I'm actually gonna cut is right here, but I'm using this for a reference point because I'm shooting down right here. I want this flush with this right there. That way I can score my cut right here. I'm just gonna take a something metal. I'm, just, I'm using the end of the chisel. I'm just gonna score a cut line right here. What I'm going to use for cutting these stones, these toppers for my wall, is this Norton Diamond Cutter Blades. Okay, now I've got this piece fit up where I want it here. Now what I'm going to do, again, flush with this backside. And I'm going to take and come all the way along here with it. And then I'm going to chop this off here. Okay, for this next piece, I'm just going to go ahead and score it along here. But first, I'm going to come here. Okay, we're going to fill this in here too. Dug a little trench in the front of that. And we want, we want some gravel there. Here's the corner, piece is cut. All right, now I'm gonna lay uh, some of this underneath each layer and underneath the top layer. It's quick read, advanced polymer, construction adhesive. This is backfilling it, but we're starting with the gravel in here for drainage all along here and just filling it all in and then we're going to put soil over that. All right, here's a look at the wall so far. So far, just gotta paint these top pieces. Okay, what I'm doing now is just putting this little border right along here, that way it'll keep the dirt off the porch there. Okay, the next problem that we're gonna solve is we've got quite a transition from up here to down here, and got wood paneling coming down on the house we don't want the dirt being up against there so what we're gonna do is just put in a rock wall right here following the exact same process as we did before and this is a clean out here so we're gonna go just actually right in front of that Here is setting these things to the exact depth as that first one that way these caps will match up because we're going to tie into that cap there and go perpendicular off the wall. All right, doing a little bark dusting here trip to the gravel pit they sell bark dust and all the rock and all that good stuff all right here's the finished product take a little tour here just 
Still gotta put some black on top of that, but calling it good for now. It's about the last thing I gotta do. All right, as far as plants go, hostas, put some hostas in there. They like the shade, boxwoods, and that's a hydrangea. All these are hostas, some decorative long grass. That's a bleeding heart, good shade trees. So this area gets, is the shadiest. And so um, put a lot of plants back here that, that like the shade. And some ivy there.